Hi, boys and girls. Happy Monday and welcome to another STEAM challenge. Today's challenge is going to be all about chemistry. So chemistry is the way substances mix um, together and some of those substances are found in nature, some of them are man-made, but chemistry is a really cool science study about how things mix, compounds, um, liquids, solids, gases. So we have a really fun experiment for you today called Magic Milk. So maybe you've seen this one before on YouTube or maybe this is your first time, but I am going to demonstrate it for you today. So this is what you need to complete the Magic Milk experiment. All right, and like I said, I'm gonna demonstrate it to you here in just a second, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm also going to do a reading of the book by Peter Reynolds called Sky Color. Now, Peter, Peter Reynolds does a fantastic job about using art and about celebrating students and kids who love to do art. And Sky Color is about how a lot of different colors can be found in nature. So not only do we want you to try this experiment today, boys and girls, or when you get a chance, but I want you to go outside and do a little scavenger hunt and look around you, see what colors you see in nature and talk about what you can observe. Um, one thing that is going to be seen in this book is she's going to discover that the sky isn't always the same color. Sometimes we think of it as blue, but there are also other colors. All right, so stay tuned for that reading. And also, here you go with the example or demonstration of magic milk. Okay, so we are going to show you or demonstrate for you the magic milk experiment. And so for this, you're going to definitely need some milk here. Whole milk is best, some dye, the liquid dye, not the gel kind, some Q-tips, and some dish soap. We also have a shallow dish, or this is a pizza pan, but you can have any kind of shallow dish. And then just for fun, some cookie cutters to change things up a bit. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, wasn't that super cool, boys and girls? So I loved watching all the colors swirl around and the milk mix with the dye. And wasn't it just so cool when a change happened as soon as the Q-tip dipped in the soap was put into the milk mixture. And the reason why we add the the dye is so that we can see the changes that are happening. So if you want, take a minute to pause the video and discuss with your parents, why do you think that this is happening? Why are those colors swirling around like that when you're not moving the Q-tip around? Well, one of the cool things about milk as a chemical substance is it's made of molecules. Those are little tiny things that you see in a microscope. And the molecules it's made of have a lot of fat and protein in there. And when you put the soap on the Q-tip in there, it is chasing, the soap molecules are chasing the fat molecules inside the milk, um, kind of trying to clean them up, which is why soap works. But that's what's causing the movement, is the difference between the milk 
and what it's made out of, the fats and proteins, and then the soap trying to chase it around. So super cool. All right, like I said, we're gonna read Sky Color, so stay tuned. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together, they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but could not find any blue. How am I gonna make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. All the way home, she stared out the window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. Later at home, Marisol watched the day turn into night. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. <laughs> 